Question is, shall joint resolution be adopted? Chair recognizes Representative Clyde. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in support of Senate Joint Resolution 5, a proposal with bipartisan support and a product of compromise, something I wish uh, that we could see more uh, in our chamber and in our work here in the General Assembly. Representative Sarah, I wore purple too. I didn't realize that that, that was the color of support of this uh, resolution, but I applaud uh, the work that you did. and. Uh, the discussion about how we could improve uh, the environment in the State House and in Congress. And I think that this resolution will help us get there. What really inspires me about being here today and about having the opportunity to vote on this is the Ohio citizens got us here. And they inspire me with the work that they have done on redistricting and fixing gerrymandering in our state. They have learned about this process. They know about packing and cracking and uh, the different representational fairness, all of the different criteria that are important to consider. I've gone to meetings uh, and events around the state and everywhere I go, people are engaged. They are talking about this issue. And they are the reason that we are here today uh, discussing this bill. They also collected tens, hundreds of thousands of signatures in support of reforming this process. That is to be applauded. And at the heart of that movement were indivisible groups around the state, the League of Women Voters, women who took part in the Women's March, and, you know, this has really been an effort, including a lot of Ohioans from all parts of the state. They know that we need to end the status quo. Ohio currently has the worst map we have ever had for our congressional delegation in state history. And it's one of the worst, most gerrymandered maps in the country. We have one party walking away with three quarters of the districts when they're only getting roughly half the votes. I can understand what Representative Ramos talks about. I come from a smaller county, Portage County, and it is split into three congressional districts. We all hear about the snake along the lake, uh, where I believe you actually have to wade through wetlands to stay within the district. And we have a district, uh, when I go down and visit people in Athens at Ohio University, that talk about how confusing it is for them to have their district also wrap around and include Upper Arlington, a suburb in Columbus. These rigged and partisan districts make a mockery of our elections, and they turn people off from voting and from participating and that is a very important reason why we need to fix this. Senate Joint Resolution 5 makes the process better. For the first time in Ohio history, it aims to end the partisan gerrymandering and to make our districts fair. There's a key sentence in this proposal, and I quote, the General Assembly shall not pass a map that unduly favors or disfavors a political party. What's that mean? That means no map that's a 12-4 map, no map that's a 12-3 map, and that is worth celebrating. I, too, want to say thanks to the people involved in this process, the work group, Representative Sarah, Representative Schering. Senator Sykes, I want to thank the four leaders, Speaker Rosenberger, Minority Leader Strayhorn, Leader Yuko, and the Senate President Obhoff uh, for their diligence and dedication to fixing this. I too want to thank the staff and the countless hours that they have put in, especially Sarah Cherry, Bethany Sanders, and Andy De Palma. I also want to take a moment to thank the leaders of the coalition. They represent 
40 diverse groups. In my understanding, it's more than that. Uh, and there have been some real leaders who have been at the negotiating table fighting for this reform. And I want to specifically thank Catherine Turser, Ann Henkener, and Heather Taylor Measley. So Senate Joint Resolution number five is a better way. I urge my colleagues to vote in favor, and more importantly, for the voters that this so deeply affects, I urge them to support Senate Joint Resolution on the ballot on May 8th. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Question is, shall Joint Resolution be adopted? Chair recognizes Representative Bocheri. 